I kind of split my time. I spend a lot of time as a performer, so I play a lot of music for speaking percussionists, a lot of experimental percussion music, but I also spend a lot of time as a teacher, of course. So most recently, where I just came from was DePauw University, west of Indianapolis in Indiana. Before that, I taught for a year way up at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Believe it or not, I used to live here in Seattle. I was a freelance here in 2008, 2009, and I'm just thrilled to be back in this part of the world because it's wonderful. So when I'm not teaching, when I'm not you know, doing some of my solo experimental percussion uh, performing, I often love playing with other groups of musicians, mixed contemporary ensembles, that sort of thing. One of my favorite areas to explore in percussion music is music that's been written for speaking percussionists. And believe it or not, there are over 100 pieces of music for solo speaking percussionists. And it's a really exciting area for percussion because it often unites these kind of odd experimental soundscapes with narrative-based work or sound poetry-based work. And I think it creates an opening to an accessibility. So it makes, you know, music accessible to a wide uh, range of people. One opportunity that I have here as a teacher is to really work one-on-one -on -one with students uh, not just sort of telling them what to do in a traditional sense, but actually playing with those students. So in all of the pieces that we're presenting, I hope to play with my students a little bit, either in performance or just in rehearsal. It's really important to me that I be making the music right alongside them. I think that's one of the ways that as an educator, I can show that I trust my students is by stepping on stage with them. So that's a, a fabulous opportunity. I'm really looking forward to the times I have this year to play with my students. And so as I look ahead to the sort of things we're gonna be doing this year with the percussion ensemble, our first concert is gonna be with the modern ensemble. So we're gonna play some great pieces of music by Steve Reich, not just uh, music for percussion, but music that involves other instrumentalists as well. We're going to do some historical percussion pieces alongside the ensemble of students who are playing uh, with the Harry Parch collection of instruments, uh, the Lou Harrison Violin Concerto with fabulous uh, violin grad student. So I'm really looking forward to all of those opportunities to collaborate. Okay. Was that amazing or what? I'm really great. <clears throat> no. the same rhythm as me, but you're, uh, you're did, did you go to the mirror image, like what yeah, Dave, the part yeah, that David has? That's okay. Uh, it's still, but like these are legitimate goosebumps. Do you see that? <laughs> They're like awesome. Okay, so, okay, what is a strategy for if, say, you go too far or you don't go far enough, but you notice everyone else's face? I'm thrilled to be here. I'm really looking forward to the future of the percussion department. <laughs>